the third best pizza of my life. That may not seem like the kind of food review you put on a billboard, but hear me out. The best pizza I've ever had was in Venice, Italy. No surprise there. The second best I've had was in Manhattan. The number three spot on my list is Village Pizzeria in Lucknow, Ontario, which I know is technically Bruce County, but this little pizza shop is quickly expanding. During COVID, they have opened franchise locations in Godrich on the square, as well as Aaron and soon Owen Sound. And once you've tasted it, it's easy to understand why I rank this number three in the world. The crust is perfectly done. There is something addictive about the sauce. And their menu has a wide variety of specialty pizzas for the adventurous. This entrepreneurial little pizza shop from Lucknow is competing on the world stage. It's seriously some next level pizza. This pizza fueled our final day of our week long hike for Huron Hospice, where each day from May 23rd to 30th, we have hiked a different local trail, supported a different local business in the food and drink industry, and shared stories about local history. Today, we are back in Godrich hiking the Maitland Woods. After a pizza dinner in the parking lot of the Knights of Columbus Hall, we set off down the trail into the Maitland Woods. The southern third of the woods is on private property. The original owners, the Hindmarsh family, turned their property over to the Ontario Farmland Trust back in 1999. With this chunk of land given free use to the Maitland Trail Association in perpetuity on the condition they maintain the trail and the woodlands. John Hindmarsh, who passed away in 1995, was often seen in this area riding horseback and exploring the woods. And this family has a close connection to Huron Hospice. John's wife, Marion Hindmarsh, volunteered a lot of her time with Huron Hospice. And in 2002, Marion was awarded the prestigious June Callwood Award Circle of Outstanding Volunteers for the contributions she made to developing Huron Hospice programs. Marion doesn't live on the family farm any longer, but she is still alive at 101 years young. <laughs> thank you to John Hindmarsh and Marion. Thank you. Thank you for your gifts to this community. So that about wraps it up then. Eight different trails in eight days, 10 different businesses, and we have only scratched the surface here. We are so lucky to have so many trails, so many unique food stops, so many unique drink stops. Now, let me just say, I don't normally eat like this. I don't normally hike like that either, but it was a fun challenge to promote what we have locally in our own backyard. Thank you to everyone who donated. Together, we have far surpassed my goal and raised $2,930 for Huron Hospice. So thank you very much. I, I'm really humbled by the out, uh, outpouring of support and especially your words of encouragement. Thank you. Thank you also to my family, my kids and my wife <laughs> and my dog that I drag along with me on these things. Thank you for being a good sport about this and, and joining me for this, this adventure. I don't know yet if the organization has reached their goal of uh, raising 45000 overall with this big hike. Uh, there's still some offline donations to tally uh, checks and cash and envelopes. We'll hope, hopefully have an answer for everyone in a week. And finally, if you liked watching these videos, uh, head over to my YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the video description. That way you'll be the first to know when I post something new. That's probably not going to be tomorrow. It's probably not going to be this week. But maybe in a month or so I might post something similar. And uh, you'll be the, among the first to know if you're subscribed to my channel. Until next time. Thank you so much. This hike for Huron Hospice 2021 has been blast.